Hello, I'm Chocolate Bird here, but not for a video review. This time it's episode 9 of Look Back. <laughs> yes, this is where basically I look back at uh, reviews I did one year and five years ago, because I've actually been um, doing the channel, believe it or not, for five years now. You probably already know that, really, but if you didn't, I have. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so it's just a way of me sort of checking to see whether I still agree with the sort of ratings I gave the chocolate back then, and um, also a chance to look at, um, yeah, stuff that may have been discontinued or long forgotten about, things like this. So, um, obviously... Over a year ago, you'd think, uh, well, things I read a year ago, you'd think wouldn't be uh, long forgotten, but, well, you never know sometimes. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we'll start things I reviewed a year ago then. Um, so first of all, we have the uh, Cadbury's Dairy Milk Crispy Mint Cream. Yeah, so this one was an Australian import, this one, actually, and uh, I didn't, I, well, I gave this, uh, what did I give it, two and a half out of five, this one, and I found that it's basically like a block of dairy milk, really, but it had um, sort of solid pieces of mint in there or sort of mint you know a bit like almost a bit like say having bits of tree bore mints inside the the bar but it, but they were really hard it was like hailstone or something I felt and I really didn't agree with me at all and I gave it two and a half then but I think you know what I, I really didn't like that bar I, I just it was the, the pieces were just too hard I didn't enjoy the texture at all it just wasn't for me I mean I think maybe other people wouldn't mind it so much but it was just they were just too hard for me I really didn't enjoy that te that texture it was just too much too hard as I say it felt like I was eating hailstone um yeah well small ball bearings or something i just didn't i don't know I just, it might be more my memory just not really liking them you know thinking back on it but um yeah it's it's i'm gonna load that to a one out of five that one it just wasn't a good bar that one for me um wasn't a good bar at all i really yeah i mean i'd say i think a lot of people might prefer it than you know um well like it better than i did but um yeah, for me, it was a one out of five. I think I was being a bit um, a bit overly kind on that one, giving it two and a half out of five then. It was definitely at most a two. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the chocolate's still nice, as I say, but it's just... Yeah, that... Um, yeah. No. <laughs> that, mint, that mint texture and that feeling, whatever it was, just wasn't for me. One out of five. <laughs> That was only a year ago as well. Yeah, so what else we got? Milk a Happy Cow, yes. Um, this one is a bit like... Well, basically, it's sort of... Um, Milk and milk chocolate, alpine milk chocolate, and uh, white chocolate uh, mixed together to look a bit like a sort of cow pattern, basically. Um, yeah, long story short, is it was it suffered similar to how a lot of uh, Cadbury's products of a similar nature do, like the spring editions and the uh, I think the winter editions as well, where basically there's only about I think it's about twelve percent white chocolate. Even though it looks like there's lots of be Christmas tree shapes, uh, sort of white chocolate or something, or um, pizza rabbit shapes. There were sort of Christmas tree shapes that are white chocolate or you know, it's really just a topper to the milk chocolate, or there'll be sort of rabbit shapes. I think they're responsible for Peter Rabbit at the time, but <laughs> for the spring edition. But yeah, but, it, but I say when you look on the back, it's only 12% white chocolate, and it's just, and this was a bit like that, really. I think it was a bit more white chocolate, actually, but it was still disappointing, really. It just wasn't quite, you know, as, as white chocolatey as you'd like. So I gave it three and a half out of five, and I think that's probably about right, really. Um, I say it's not that it wasn't nice, it just was a bit disappointing, I think. I think it expected more, more white chocolate from it, so yeah. Uh, a bit of a shame that, but if you keep, they keep doing that, you know, they keep doing that sort of thing, you know, it's a Cadbury especially, but, I, you know, Model S owns them both, so, you know, similar concepts, I guess, but yeah, fair enough, I had to fire that one. <laughs> Yeah, then we have the Terry's White Chocolate Minis, yeah, so I loved these at the time, gave them a 5 out of 5, basically, I thought they tasted just like, um, basically, um, you know, orange, basically, pretty much, in chocolate form, um, yeah, just because the white chocolate nature of it and things. But but I did have these again recently, and I must say, I don't know whether they've changed or whether I've changed or what, but it just, I don't know, I wasn't as keen on them, basically. Just had a bit too much of a tang to them, really. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, so I don't know where I preferred, I know I preferred one of them distinctly, and I can only assume it's the actual, um, you know, the circular, um, actual Terry's chocolate orange, white chocolate orange. Um, I feel like maybe that was the better one, really. I know there's definitely one I preferred. I thought it was the mini ones, but as I say, I'm tasting them again. I don't know, I was a bit disappointed, so I don't know. It could be fair them another time. Um, maybe it would, um, you know, uh, it would balance out and I think, oh yeah, it was, it was as good as it was, and I just had a bad pack. But I think I'm going to have to lower these to a four out of five. They just not, they just weren't as good as I remembered, unfortunately. And as I say, maybe, I don't know, I feel like one of them definitely was stronger than the other one, and maybe I was getting a bit carried away with the mini ones. I'm not sure. That's what I'm thinking, maybe. I don't know if it's, definitely the case or not really it could have been it was actually the terry's white chocolate orange that i you know didn't like as much but i'm quite i don't know i feel like i did i feel i feel like it was the minis perhaps that was um yeah a bit too a bit too strong i think a bit too um tangy i guess but uh yeah i don't know i felt a bit i don't know yeah don't know much too I'm not 100 percent sure basically but um 
yeah, definitely lower than these two or four, I think. It just they just weren't as enjoyable in having the game. Which is a real shame because I would say I was really impressed with them the first time. But as I say, I think that might have just been the, the main Terry's chocolate orange, you know, the white version. So we'll see. But lowering those to four, I think, which I'm surprised by and disappointed by. But I'm gonna review um got a bar coming up soon, the Terry's white chocolate orange bar. So we'll see what that goes with like and um yeah, whether I actually really like that one or is there a difference or not, whether that one is He's one as well that's not quite as good as I remembered. Although I said that, I didn't try that before. I didn't have it in bar form. But obviously it is still the same thing you'd think um, when in bar form, as I say, rather than in the, in the minis or the actual ball itself. Um, but as I say, I do remember last year um, one of them tasting distinctly better um, out of the minis and the uh, actual orange itself. So, um, yeah. So, we'll see. <laughs> Now we have the Galaxy Caramel Truffles, yeah, so these ones, um, give these a four and a half out of five, I think. I said that they needed something else in them, really. Um, you know, so it's one of those where, you know, yeah, it's, it's a difficult one. I think you just had too much truffle in the centre, basically, um, is the gist of it. Um, and I felt like they just needed something more, like caramel or something like that, or something a bit, you know, a bit more of it, or a bit, you know, something just like chewy or something in the centre of it, just too much truffle, basically. So, yeah, give them a four and a half out of five, I think. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe that was perhaps a bit too high. I'm gonna, yeah. I just remember them being a bit. There's just so many of them in the box and things like this, and I feel like they got quite old quite quickly. So I think I'm gonna lower that to a four out of five, you know. But they were still very nice. I just felt like you know they weren't quite perfect, and um, there's just too many of them. Yeah, just not enough variety there. So four out of five. Yeah. Hmm. Been a bit harsh on myself this week. <laughs> Yes, what else? So Cadbury's Twirl Caramel, a year ago already, goodness me. Well, I gave this one a four and a half out of five, and I said it was just basically because the bar was so small inside the pack packaging, it just had so much, um, so, you know, the flourish was so big. Um, I don't know whether doing that anymore, you know, I, I try not to really lower things because of the flourish, unless it's an extreme example. There's only a couple of those about it that sort of stick to mind, which is the Kinder Buenos, um, and perhaps this one as well, actually. So I think I'm going to keep it the same. Um, just because it was extreme flourishes, but it was a really nice chocolate bar. Um, as I say, caramel milk, beautiful sort of caramel flavored white chocolate inside. You know, in in the, like a, a bit like a flake really inside a twirl covered in uh, milk chocolate. It was very nice actually. Yeah, uh, um, very nice, lovely texture and taste. But as I say, just ruined by that, uh, by those flourishes. Yeah, crazy really, crazy. Yeah. Then we had Maryland cookies and cream biscuits, so cookies. <laughs> um, and I gave these a two and a half out of five basically because there just was no real cookies and cream in there. And I think, um, and again, I think that's probably a bit, been a bit too kind, really. I think I'm going to lower that to a two out of five, basically because I think my biscuit sort of average has kind of gone down a bit. Digestives used to be, you know, a three, basically. I was comparing things to digestives, and that's gone down a bit now. So uh, I, think, I think the typical biscuit is, is a two out of five now. Um, and I think these cookies and cream were just so uninspiring. There's just no real concept of cookies and cream in there, really, other than the fact that they were, you know, a cookie. <laughs> but you know, there's no sort of cr creaminess to them. It was just, I don't know. It was just a bit, yeah. They were nothing product really. So yeah, two out of five that one. It was very mundane, not as exciting as it sounded, um, and just uh, I think mainline cookies tend to be a bit, a bit mundane by default, really. And as I say, this one was a lot worse than um, yeah, the usual stuff. So. It was definitely most of two out of five, yeah. There we go. I think, um, I think the, the best Maryland cookies tend to be three to four, really. Four at most on a very good day, um, but generally a three, I think. So, yeah, that was these were definitely worse than the regular Maryland cookies, for sure. Mm. Then we had, uh, what else we have? Terry's White Chocolate Orange. Yeah, the whole, the actual orange this time. Yeah, so this one I did give out five out of five, and um, I haven't had this one again since. I'm assuming it's going to come out again soon, because I'll say the other Terry's White Chocolate Orange, so sort of um, products are coming out so um, yeah so I'm going to give myself the benefit of the doubt on this one keep it as a five I'd say even though I was disappointed with the segments again or the minis and sexations have come out now as well with white chocolate uh, segments in them so I'm looking forward to trying those out um, I guess they are the minis te technically so yeah we'll see uh, I think they are. Maybe, they are, maybe they are bigger size actually so yeah mm. so it could be alright so we'll see I don't know Long story short, I feel maybe the bigger one's actually a bit better, but I'm not sure. I just I do remember one of them being distinctly better, as I mentioned earlier, and I, and I feel like that was probably the bigger size segment. So I'm going to give myself the benefit of the doubt on this one and keep it at 5 out of 5, because I do remember thinking it was one that was really special. Um, yeah, and I just think maybe the minis weren't quite as good. So, yeah. We'll keep it at 5 out of 5, though, and give myself the benefit of the doubt, and um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> 5 out of 5. Okay, so what did I review five years ago then? Let's go uh, Let's go back a bit on my list. Yeah, so I was being a Kinder Bueno White. This was one I did review, um, yeah, five years ago. Wow, believe it or not. Yes, crikey. Um, 
Yeah, I have reviewed this since actually. I have reviewed this since. I think it was in a look back a few um yeah a few weeks ago really. I gave this one a four out of five and I have upped it uh, to a four and a half out of five, um in the more recent review. So yeah, so and I think that's yeah basically this one's an up one really. So it's you know I'm going to raise this one up. Um, it is uh it is really nice. The only problem with it is it's as I say in um you know in the other bar the um twelve camera the flourishes. Um, it's just too too big on these bars. It's just you know it's like half the bar or something or almost of just empty space. You know it's ridiculous. Um, so I don't know. So I will yeah I will stay at four and a half out of five. I don't know whether I think this is probably without the flourish problem really. You know in the sense that's the four and a half out of five hasn't been reduced um, from anything to cater for the flourishes. But I don't know. Difficult one. Not too sure. But the fact is it's a really really nice bar. It's not far from being a five out of five as it is. So yeah. I think four and a half out of five is pretty much about right. So yeah, that's gone up that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the Galaxy Cookie Crumble. Yeah, so this one, I was a bit disappointed with this one actually. I said it was just, it was nice because you know Galaxy is just nice anyway. But you just couldn't really taste the Cookie Crumble part. It was just very disappointing. Um, and I gave it a three, um, a three out of five. And I think, yeah, you know, I don't know. I'll, I'll give myself the benefit of the doubt now. I'm going to try and review this one again soon. I think, um, but I will give myself the benefit of the doubt on that one. I just think, yeah, you know. It's just it was neither here nor there basically I felt the the sense it's just too fine um the, the cookie pieces you know they're just too small I think and yeah disappointing it was but it's still a galaxy talker which is nice but I'll say it was just the fact that it was just so disappointing so that's why I gave it just a bit of an average mark so yeah so give myself the benefit of the doubt on that one <laughs> yeah then we had the Cadbury's Flake yes wow five I need to review re-review this one again it was um classic bar so I gave it a four and a half out of five you know what I'm I feel like this could be a five out of five, really, and I think, um, yeah, I really do. I do. I really do feel like, uh, yeah, this one could be a five out of five. But I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-review it again. I think we'll leave it for then. I think so. I give myself the benefit of the doubt to keep it at four and a half out of five because I need to, as I say, re-review it soon. Um, I think anyway. So and we'll see what happens then. I think so. Yeah, mm, but I feel like it could be a five that one. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, no, what else do we have? We had the yeah, Galaxy Ripple, basically a rival to the Flake. Um, kind of the same in what Galaxy's version. So it had like a, a sort of, uh, yeah, well, like more of a ripply centre, really. Sort of like, way, you know, layers of chocolate. A bit like, um, possibly a bit more twirly, maybe. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, covered in... Um, sort of galaxy chocolate and the problem with this one was i found that when you bit into it it sort of like all just melded together into a basically a galaxy segment you know a galaxy bar really so you lost any of the sort of novelty that's what i'm saying in the view basically and i gave it a three out of five and i think yeah you know yeah i remember being just a bit disappointing basically it's probably another one i need to re-review but i'm gonna again for the same reason just give myself the benefit of the doubt now yeah i just Galaxy is really nice, and I think um, you know, Galaxy Talk is lovely. But I think the fact that it just looked like it should be a bit more than it was. So again, like the uh, yeah, the Galaxy Cookie Crumble, it was just a bit, a bit disappointing. It looked like it, you know, should give you. It looked like it promised more than it did, basically. And for that reason, even though it's a nice bar, it just was disappointing, you know, and just basically ended up tasting a bit like a Galaxy again, really. So you know, yeah, like the Cookie Crumble, pretty much. So yeah, so I think I give myself the benefit of the doubt again there, and um, yeah, keep it a three out of five. But another one, as I say, I need to review. So we'll see what happens then. <laughs> now what's it have? Yes, um, yeah, and let's say Mint Aero as well, yeah. So this is one that a lot of people view as a classic, but for me, I've never been that keen on it. I was a bit, I was saying, I wasn't too sure about the comments I made, though, five years ago. I was kind of saying, you know, I don't know, kind of felt like it should have something else in it, or I expected more in it. And I don't really get, you know, I don't really, I don't really buy that now. I feel like that's not quite right. Um just for me, Aero is just never quite as nice a texture as Whisper and things like this. It's just never quite as velvety. And I think, you know, and I'm not too keen on mint as well, you know, as a flavour. I don't mind it in some instances, but it's got to be done just right, really. And I don't think Aero Mint does it for me. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I gave it uh, I gave it a three out of five and it's probably about right. Again, it's another one I might perhaps need to re-review. Um, but again, you know, the regular arrow isn't that great either. I feel like the chocolate's not that great for that one. So I think it probably is better than the regular arrow. Um, but maybe just, I don't know, not quite bubbly enough, not quite velvety enough. I don't know, maybe a bit too minty as well. So hmm. I'm not even sure the scent of his actual chocolate. I think I don't think it is. I'm not sure. I'll have to check that when I next review it or something. Um, but we're having those sort of mini... You know, snow bubbles or whatever, snow bubbles or bubbles on this, that, and the other. I'm sure the scent is not actually chocolate, even though it's, it looks like it's just green coloured chocolate. It's not. So, yeah. But anyway, yeah, I think I'll give myself the benefit of that. Three out of five for that one still. But yeah. But, hmm. I've been a bit disappointed with that one. So, yeah. Hmm. 
Who else do we have? Toblerone. Yes, I didn't give this one a rating, bizarrely enough. I don't know why. I think I just forgot to. <laughs> um, so hard one to say, this one. You know, I, I'm not too sure. I think I probably would have given... It sounded like I was going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. So I'll say it stayed the same. 3.5 out of 5. Basically, as you know, sort of like a... Is it hazelnut or... I think it's got bits of hazelnut or bits of chocolate praline. So it's chocolate hazelnuts, isn't it, inside of, sort of Swiss milk chocolate. Very nice chocolate, actually. Quite thick and substantial. Uh, quite like it. Quite calorific, though, from memory. Um, yeah. But nice, yeah. So I think three and a half is about right. Three and a half out of five. But as I said, I don't know quite whether I gave it that or not. But it sounded like I was going to. So I'll give us the the benefit of the doubt there as well. <laughs> yeah, anyway, Phaser's Chili and Crisps and Milk Chocolate. Yeah, this was a bar of um, Phaser. So a small, you know, normally they come in big 200 gram blocks. So this was like a mini, a sort of regular sized bar, really. And I find it really disappointing, actually. And I was saying that maybe it's just Phaser's just better in a big block form where they do things in a slightly different way and stuff. And I just felt this one just wasn't exciting, just wasn't really, wasn't Carl Fazer for me. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's just all in my mind, it was just the fact it wasn't a 200 gram block or something, but it just didn't feel right. I don't know. I mean, even though, let's say it's a small bar, the sections were quite big as well. They're bigger than the segments in the, in the 200 gram bar. So maybe it's just too thick. It just wasn't the same. I didn't really think the flavour was that great either. So I gave it a 3 out of 5. So it's probably the most disappointing phaser bars I've had really. I mean there's been some ones I've not been too keen on but usually you know the uh, the reason for it was because of the flavour or something like that you know whereas this one um you know something I anticipated basically but this one I thought I'd like it and I should have liked it but I didn't it just didn't work so yeah a bit average really you know it wasn't horrible or anything but just was a bit of an average bar so yeah three out of five that one mm, stay the same I think <laughs> Yeah, and then lastly, I did a uh, Phaser's Roasted and Salted Cashew Nuts in Milk Chocolate. And this one on the other hand, it was just, it was just perfect, really. It had just nice, lovely Phaser chocolate, nice big 200 gram bar, lovely size segments. I think the um, Salted Cashew Nuts in Roasted as well were just so nice a texture to have with the chocolate, that salty taste. It just worked really well. And I know they've, I think it's them, did a honey, a uh, honey, um, roast almond or roast hazelnuts or something. That had a similar thing going for it as well. I really just enjoyed this one. I'm not a big fan of nuts generally but in this case when they're done right like this it was really nice and as I say phases chocolate's gorgeous um and just that salty sort of mix of you know in the cashew nut just really worked that mix of sweet and salt you know it's just really nice yeah so I think I'm really you know I, I still have fond memories of that and I'll say the honey roast hazelnuts or whatever it was as well I still have um fond memories of really enjoying those bars so yeah so definitely stay keep with that one keep it the same yeah Lovely. <laughs> five out of five for sure. <laughs> okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that look back. Yeah, so a link for all these are in the description, by the way, all the reviews of these. So if you uh, want to see any of these reviews, um, yeah, go check out the description. Um, want to support the channel, uh, check out the YouTube over Chrome. Great way to do it. Uh, really, really is. Um, leave a comment or free. It really helps out the channel as well, as is liking the video. And subscribe if you haven't already, of course, as well. All those things really help out the channel. They truly, truly do. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the comments. Um, great to hear from you, and I always do reply. Um, take care. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. See ya.